friends, my dear masters, my dear guards, welcome to all of you to the today's session, 21 days holistic wellness program for the day 15th. Before starting the program, my sincere pronouns to my beloved Guruji, Pramansi Patriji, and my grandmaster, Mother Babaji, and all the pyramid masters, and all the astral masters. Friends, so today this one hour program and uh, Saturday, every Saturday, we try to go through the holistic lifestyle principles, the last uh, two sessions also. We have completed last two sessions, yes. And the third session is the last session of, about the holistic lifestyle principles, my dear friends. So now we'll be doing more or less about uh, 25 minutes meditation. After that, we'll go through the uh, the holistic life of the principles because it's a lengthy subject. So let's cover uh, the meditation first. We'll do only 25 minutes. Okay. So now all of us uh, go, I mean, start the meditation. Anapanasati meditation, my dear friends. All of you know how to practice the meditation. Yes. So start the meditation. Anapanasati. Sit straight, back erected, comfortably in chair, on sofa, on the floor, wherever. And remove spectacles. Clasp the, clasp the hands like this. Cross the fingers. Fingers into fingers. Okay. And clean, keep up the thighs. And cross the legs the down. Cross the legs. Okay. Right. Now, comfortably, relaxingly, everybody close the eyes. Slowly, gently close the eyes. Close the eyes and start observing your natural breath, my dear friends. Start observing natural breath at the nose tip. This is going in, it's coming out. Uchwasa, Niswasa. That is in breathing, out breathing. That is Anapanasati. Sit back erected always while doing practicing meditation. Try, try that, you know, your back must be erected. Straight. Now, go on, observe the breath. Friends, go on after the breath. Go on after the gentle, peaceful, tranquil, simple breath. No more thoughts, no more guard forms, don't visualize anything. No chanting, no mantra, nothing. Just be with your plain, natural, low breath. The breath which is coming in, the breath which is going out. Be with it. I'll be playing a very melodious and light music for you. The flute music. Just go on with your breath. You don't have any disturbance in the with respect to thoughts. Just observe the music. It will take care of you. Otherwise, just be with your breath. Go on, be with your breath only. Music, let the music go on on the background on its own. That will have some profound healing on your physical body. Soulful music today. Go on to the meditation. Go on practice Anapanasati now.
minutes, last two minutes of meditation. Be with your own breath. Not open the eyes, last two minutes. Last 30 seconds. Last 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 0. Slowly take your hands, place on your eyes for 5 more seconds. Gently touch your eyes with your hands, both the hands for 5 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Slowly, slowly open your eyes. Slowly take your hands away. Slowly come back to the body awareness and physical awareness. My dear friends. Yes, please come back. <clears throat> Friends, today we have done wonderful meditation till now. The deep meditation with melodious music, flute music. So my dear friends, now we are going to learn about the holistic lifestyle principles, right? So we learned about the holistic lifestyle, the part one, part two, we have completed. And with which we have already, come, we have already learned about uh, the various uh, the holistic lifestyle practices and food practices. In fact, now, <clears throat> from, I mean, this today class, today class will try to focus on most of the, the holistic lifestyle techniques as well, some of the home remedies, basically, home remedies for different uh, diseases and uh, ailments, okay? So, let's uh, go through this and uh, this will have about uh, 30 to 40 minutes, uh, you know, the length of the topic and as well, it's, uh, in fact, we have a, uh, the number of topics are uh, so many. We may cover or may not cover uh, the complete topics today. 
if at all not covered, we will try to cover some other day. But we will try to see how much match we can cover. So, my dear friends, holistic lifestyle, as you know already, why holistic lifestyle is required. So, in order to keep us away from the diseases, unnecessarily physical diseases, basically. Also, mental diseases to an extent. So, mental, for mental diseases and uh, for your, uh, especially uh, for all the spiritual needs, right? Meditation is the best tool and we already know and we have been practicing, right? That's the best tool which will help you to take away, to take you out from the any kind of mental illnesses, right? So, any kind of, most of the illnesses comes out of the stress only. The stress in the mind, mental stress it is called. So, because of mental stress, it is going to generate a lot of physical diseases. That's why we call them as psychosomatic diseases, right? So, now, at least uh, the physical part, especially physical, physical body, in order to practice meditation even, right? If you practice more and more meditation, you will come out of the mental stress easily, isn't it? So, mental stress means that is a major root cause for so many, so many ailments. 95% of ailments of human, human being comes from mental stress only, try to understand. So, if at all you want to come out of mental stress permanently, you have to practice the meditation regularly without any fail. Consistently you must practice, right? That you know very well how to practice and what the time period, all this. But in order to practice the meditation also, your physical body must be healthy, first of all. Isn't it? Your physical body is not at all healthy, it is already having a lot of suffering. And you know what will happen is you, you are you will not able to sit in the meditation for uh, quite some time, maybe not, not more than 10 minutes. <clears throat> you want to sit for 30 minutes, 40 minutes, one hour, two hours. It's quite impossible for a illness in the body. Any illness in the body will not allow you to comfortably sit in the meditation. That is why this physical illness to take out what we need to do. So we need to, we should not fall into the disease again and again. So we should not get into the disease again and again. At least we can prevent them at the physical level. Okay, at the physical level with the help of the proper food practices, holistic life, holistic food that is chemi chemical free and natural, as well the holistic lifestyle principles like uh, the sleeping pattern, how to sleep, how to drink water. Right. So there are so many techniques which are with respect to us basically. So we should not use a plastic more. So there are so many things which we learned in the previous sessions also. So that's why with the help of holistic lifestyle principles and the food, the holistic food, natural food, with all these things, we will be able to maintain the physical body, not to get into the diseases again and again. So that we can practice meditation and we can remove the mental stress easily. And then we'll be free from all the diseases throughout the life. Throughout the life, we'll be healthy, healthy and happy. That much is ensured. So when you go on practice the meditation, then you get into so-called blissful, blissfulness also. Not only happiness, not only happiness and you know or the healthy, health and happiness. Beyond health and happiness, there is something else that is called permanent happiness, which is blissfulness. The blissfulness is very much possible only when you practice meditation, when you travel to your, your own inner, you know, your own inner world. Basically, you go inside, inside of you with the help of meditation, deep inside of you. That's what we have done today also. Every day we are doing. So if you go and practice that, then what is that you are going to get is you are going to generate something called some, something like a nectar. The ne that nectar is basically blissfulness, the ananda. So the soul is having ananda. Soul is having blissfulness. In order to access the blissfulness or the soul, the soul happiness is nothing but blissfulness. The blissfulness is available only with the soul. It is never available anywhere outside in the world, my dear friends. So, do not search for uh, this so-called uh, permanent happiness or bliss blissfulness anywhere in the outside. You won't get it. You will only get it within yourself. That's what uh, the, that's what the secret. So, we understood and we practice. Go on practice the meditation now. So, friends, let's go. Uh, let's see now. Let's study and let's understand all these holistic holistic lifestyle principles. Okay, through the PPT, I will show you. Will explain you. Let's go through that. Right. Yes. So, friends, the holistic lifestyle principles. We have about fifty slides we have today. So, how much are possible? We will try to cover, and I'll be sending this uh, entire PDF to you, so you can go through again, and you can keep practicing in the home, and you can teach others also. They will be much, much helpful and immediate for the immediate rescue. 
all this uh, what i'm teaching here they are for immediate rescue and for immediate health recovery and uh, which will help you to be happy and healthy all the time not only you you can teach others you can help others right the first one the one mudra which you can guarantee your heart for 100 years that is this is one of the home remedy we are teaching you so this your heart will be ensured for 100 of 100 years long long 100 years so if you practice this this particular mudra uh, continuously consistently friends what is mudra apana vai mudra how do you practice see here so both hands now this uh, yeah, the index finger has to touch the thumb right it, it has to touch the thumb base of the thumb and this uh, thumb finger and the middle finger ring finger uh, gently touch this okay gently touch this similarly with both hands mudra must be practiced in both hands okay like this do like this then keep keep like this and keep on the thighs and then start practicing how much time you have to practice? Practice for 30 minutes minimum. So, whoever is having illness, basically, so what are the various symptoms with this mudra can cover? The first thing is, the first and foremost thing which can do is your heart health. Anything, heart attacks, heart pain, chest pain, heart, you know, in the heart, you, you feel like a palpitation and it's a heavily beating, right? Beating, more and more beating, uh, heart beating happening. Anything with the, whichever irregularities with your heart, it is going to take care hundred percent. Okay, that's a wonderful mudra. So, what are the other symptoms which it can also take care? That I will try to explain. Apana vai mudra. This is also called Pratha Sanjivana mudra. Why it is called? I'll explain you. So, after this mudra, friends, any mudra to work effectively, followed by you must practice prana mudra. How to practice prana mudra? See here. So, this especially to practice these mudra spreads, you should not have any nails. Nails should be properly cut. Okay, neatly. Now, so this prana mudra. This little finger, middle finger, this little finger, ring finger, gently touch with the thumb, uh, tip of the thumb, like this. But this pressure should not be so too much. It's only gently touching, gently, simply gently touching like this. Okay. This is called prana mudra. Practice for 10 minutes. Okay. After 30 minutes of this, 30 minutes, 50 minutes, you can practice any time, any amount of time. Maximum 50 minutes if you keep it, it's good. So 50 minutes uh, if you have time, right? This is apana vai mudra. Now, so this mudra, so you can practice definitely. It will help you to uh, so so many benefits. So many other benefits are also there. Let's see all other benefits of this mudra. So this is very uh, this is considered very beneficial for heart diseases, as I told you. So this provide instant relief to the person who is suffering from the heart attack and help. So in fact, in fact, it helps to keep blood pressure under control. Okay, this apana vai mudra does the great job. It will safeguard the heart. It also reduce the high blood pressure. Whatever the high blood pressure is there. See, the heart issues comes only because of the high blood pressure, high BP. So that will be brought to the control so that heart health will be protected. And also chest pain, any chest pain, pat you give, sweating are immediately reduced. Okay. This mudra removes the blocks in the blood vessels. Basically, heart blocks will be there now. So that will also be removed. So it's a, such a wonderful mudra. And irregular heartbeats are controlled. That's why. So this mudra is also called Mudra Sanjivani Mudra. It protects the person from the edge of the death due to any heart failures. Okay. So you believe it or not, I uh, personally from different people, you know, we, we took the experiences basically who are suffering from the heart pain, heart attack. They go to hospital. By the time they go to just place this mudra place this mudra and keep going to the hospital. Even if you have heart pain and you feel like heart attack, all this, whatever, but you will be, it will reverse. And then by the time you reach hospital, you will be safe. You'll be happy and then you can come back also. So likewise, we have, we have to, we took experience from the, the people practically experienced and then they told us, okay, very, very good mudra. But we don't say that to don't go to hospital, but even while going to hospital, keep mudra and go there. By the time you reach there, they will tell you, no problem, you can go back, right? That's a wonderful, the wonderfulness of this mudra. Calm excessive sweat in the feet and hands. Any excessive sweat in the feet and hands happening, this will control. Beneficial in curing acidity. Any acidity is there, will control. If anybody is suffering from acidity, please do this mudra. Okay. Uh, mag uh, the migraine headache will be relieved. Migraine headache will be removed. So that also very, very good benefit. Beneficial in relieving toothache. Anybody suffering from tooth pain, any tooth pain. So this will, you know, remove that. And uh, this mudra cures rheumatism, spondylitis, Parkinson's and paralysis. These are the other benefits of this mudra. Please follow that, my dear friends. Now, so this another, uh, some more situations where this mudra can be practiced uh, in a wide manner or in a prevalent manner. 
what are those when there is insomnia you you have sleeplessness please practice this mudra and go to the sleep it, you, you get a nice sleep okay just practice for 10 minutes and go to the sleep on the bed itself we can practice when there is a over exertion uh, the physical body undergo a lot of exertion a lot of uh, you know stress so that time also like you are roamed you, you got you got to the function you got to the marriage you got to the different uh, places and then you got physical body lot of stress and uh, you know that time also practice this when there is a pressure so any kind of a mental pressure all this whatever when climbing stairs and hills when you are climbing you know your stair staircases of apartment or um, any other temple or whatever just keep this mudra and keep climbing you will not get uh, tired you are uh, you don't get fatigue you basically and hills also even mountains and all even whenever whenever you are uh, climbing keep this mudra when you go for trekking and all use this mudra widely it will help you you know not to get much tired okay not to get much fatigue you okay that's very very important benefit now friends today we'll also see some more emergency points which will be much helpful for the people anybody who suffer with these uh, ailments so these are the emergency points available in the acupressure very beneficial please note it down everything now the first thing is heart attack anybody who is suffering from the heart attack basically note down left hand left hand and the little finger on the top not in the middle on the top on the side so just see the, see the picture there is a heart attack point that point just go on press who is suffering from the heart attack just go on press it close just press this press this uh, point go on press it for press it release press it by second release likewise you go on do for 30 40 times then it will relieve his heart attack also okay such a wonderful uh, this uh, point heart point heart attack point right please uh, please note this now we also have another point called epilepsy friends anybody who is uh, fallen down unconsciously because of epilepsy pits, pits we call it the pits right so this is a this is a point go on press this press this for 30 times go on press it it is going to really relieve the epilepsy that person will become conscious very very important so not only that we have other points also you, you, you can operate basically so here you see here all the the in the anything right or left right or left hand both the both the hands also the second picture i am showing you just all the tips the tips tips of the fingers four fingers and also this finger thumb finger thumb finger this portion represents the brain brain connections are there here so go on press this go on press this like this so this point is one and also i am telling you this point thumb and uh, the tips of all four fingers so that's where you know you have a points which are connected to the epilepsy it works very well so not only that you also have one more point here is a here especially here this portion this is the gall bladder point gall bladder point just try to go on press this every every point the pressing will be similar any point you want to press right the park presser take this point for example if you presser if you apply presser press like this five seconds really five seconds press it release it like that okay you can do with your own thumb basically apply your uh, apply the pressure with your own thumb otherwise other persons can help you they can press they can press all these points nicely so then after finally after pressing in both hands these uh, the tip points and the thumb point and gallbladder point the one point which you need to press at the end is the, this point see this uh, any hand two fingers width you keep it then you can you get one point here. This point is called limp limp gland point limp gland. So this limp gland point has to be pressed. But again, at the end, after pressing all the points, just press this. Then only the acupressure will work nicely. So that's a, at the end. You know, while finishing the this acupressure, you should press this point, limp gland point. So again, twenty that twenty times minimum ten times more than that you can do. This is called limp gland point. So this is how you need to use this epilepsy point, friends, right? So here you see here, epilepsy, epilepsy, epilepsy is the this point, this uh, middle point here, okay? And uh, the points which we pressed on the hand, right? These for stroke, stroke, brain stroke. All the brain, brain stroke points are here. This in the hand, whatever I shown here till now, they are brain stroke related points, okay? Right hand side picture shows the brain stroke. Left hand side picture only this point is epilepsy. So please note that. Please make a note of it. 
So that's that's how you do. You need to use this. Okay, right. Now, friends, this is water. Drinking water method of drinking water. Let's understand a little bit about the drinking water and its method. So, what is the uh, the best method of drinking water, and what is the quality of water? So, what kind of water we need to drink? Okay. So, if you try to observe this, first thing is what is the purpose of drinking water? Purpose of drinking water. So, is into three uh, major requirements. One is in order to hydrate your cells, the inside your cells, in order to for the proper hydration of your cells. Second one is to cleanse the entire wastage, what are the wastage we produce inside you to remove the wastage of the cells. So you need to drink water. The third one is in order to supply the required mineral required minerals to the physical body. This is the purpose of drinking water. Please note down. And what is the quality of water in the society right now? The quality of the water available in the society right now, mostly it is the pH value less than 7.2 and the TDS value less than 50. So that is not at all good. TDS of every any water you drink, try to always remember this point. Whenever you drink a water, measure the TDS, that should be 150 to 200. pH value must be 7.2 and above. Please no, make a note of this. With this kind of water, you please drink. That's called alkaline water. Okay. Now, what are the best ways to treat the water? Friends, there are many ways. So, there are many ways nowadays available as per the technology. We have aqua, aqua guard filters like UV filter. Number one is a candle filter, second is UV filter, third one is RO, reverse osmosis filter, so many. But what I try to advise a natural method is simply take a, a copper vessel, pour your whatever the can water, whatever the water you get from outside or a tap water, pour 20 liter, 10 liter in the one copper vessel, big copper vessel. Just uh, you know, store it and keep it, leave it for six hours. Now all, all night you leave it. Then what happened? This copper will purify the water. Copper has got that quality. It will try to kill the bacteria, virus, and it will try to attract all the small, small particles in the water. And also it produces a lot of free electrons into the water. And it will convert the any water into so-called structured water. Any water into energy water. So that's why all our rishis and saints, they used to drink the water from the commander, copper commander. Okay. So that's why please make a note of it. Now, so how much water we should be drink per day? <clears throat> Friends, so we need to drink, suppose if you have 60 kgs, you need to drink 6% of that. 6% of 60 kg of 3.6 liter. So per day, see 3.6 liter is must. Like that, if whatever the weight you have, weight into weight into 6%. Please make a note of this. Okay. So please uh, drink that much water. Okay. So how to drink? What is the method of drinking that water then? So you have to drink this water. So in a uh, like a frequent manner, not at one shot also not required. Morning at least, you know, at the time, when you, once you wake up, before going to the uh, excretion or whatever your uh, stools pass out. So what you need to do? At least uh, uh, like, you know, 0.75 liter or 1 liter. At least uh, near about 1 liter. So just uh, lukewarm water. Lukewarm water you drink and then uh, what will happen? The entire excretion, the resurgent, uh, that means the entire excretion will happen very nicely. It will just pass out everything. All the stools will go easily. If you drink uh, about uh, one liter of uh, lukewarm water before the, I mean, maybe once you wake up, immediately you can have that water. So that's uh, possible. Even if at all you are going for a walking, just uh, drink water and go, to, go for walking. And then if you want to do some pranayam or asanas, do that and then drink this water. Okay. First do the pranayam or whatever. Don't uh, drink and then you can do a drink water, drinking water and doing pranayama and asanas is difficult. So before that, you uh, do the practice of pranayama and uh, yoga asanas, then drink the water and then go for walking. So by the time your stools will be ready for passing out. So that's the best way. And especially morning you drink, then what happened? After that, uh, the while eating the see, while eating the food, no more drinking of water, friends. That has to be avoided. Okay. So the otherwise, you know, your digestion, digestion will affect impact. Okay, and after uh, after eating the food, one and a half hour gap you give. Then you drink again, so about uh, two glass of water. Then again before lunch, before lunch, you know, the after breakfast, before breakfast, uh, about uh, see for example five o'clock or six o'clock, you you drink water about uh, one liter. Then uh, after breakfast, breakfast is about eight or nine o'clock for example. After that, leave two hours or one and a half hour gap, minimum one and a half hour. Then you drink about three hundred ml. That is more or less. Uh, the quarter uh, quarter liter okay after that before lunch again one more quarter liter again two more glasses 
and during the lunch time while eating lunch no more water just if you want if at all any difficulty here swallowing the food little one uh, one uh, small you know gulp of water you can take sip of water simply that much you can that much is sufficient again during eating no more water water should not be consumed that means your food and water should not mix and go inside then what happens that secretion of juices will be diluted and then you get into the so called the indigestion will happen indigestion will be happening and then you have to suffer with all the other consequences anyhow so after the lunch again give one and a half hour gap another two more glass water likewise so uh, dinner before dinner again one more time to drink water after dinner just give a gap of for one one and a half hour have some lukewarm water water of uh, one glass then go for a sleep okay so while before going to sleep uh, do meditation start doing meditation and go into the sleep that becomes a yoga nidra so this is how we need to do friends now what is the what is the water has got power of memory yes so you can take any water you want to drink energized water so you want to drink energized water what you need to do is take the water and be, keep in front of you you can pray or you can you can just send your energy so always you know whatever the prayer you want to do you want to chant a mantra you chant at the in front of water water will capture very fast so water has got a capacity to to remember whatever you you uh, recite in front of that whatever you make sounds in front of that that vibrations will be captured by the water it will remember so when you drink that water that that same vibrations with same energy will be supplied to your physical body then that will heal many of the diseases okay that is why so while drinking water or in front of water we should not do any kind of a unnecessary wordings unnecessary scolding somebody all that's not required the the water inside your home will capture all the vibrations all the negative vibrations it will capture like anything okay very very important water has life force yes water has got life force you have to take care of that whenever whatever the water that's what i told you water has got life energy or life 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 energy life energy means like a consciousness basically everything in this world has got consciousness similarly life water also has got life life force or consciousness what happens is this consciousness will be lost by water because we get the water from somewhere far distances we try to uh, export or whatever the we try to bring the water in a in a straight pipelines and all these things so the life force of the water will die okay whatever the water we are drinking in fact that's all dead water only so it doesn't have a life force in order to bring the life force back only two methods okay number one you have to re-energize the water with your own power with your own energy that is by chanting mantra and you know in the temples they do right they go and chant the mantras then water will be energy that's what they give tirtha to you right similarly you can use pyramid the pyramid is also one of the good instrument is a good tool in order to re-energize the water and bring the consciousness in it or whatever the life force will come back okay that's another method the third method of course if you use copper vessel it also bring back the, the life force in the water so please do this so try to follow all these uh, guidelines right now friends so there is a memory point this memory point is very very important so anybody who is uh, uh, i mean like uh, students or in our adults also even the adults, suppose you are listening this uh, class. Before listening this class, before starting this class, what has to do, what has to be done is activate the memory point. If you activate that memory point and sit in the meditation, uh, sit in the uh, classroom, you will learn very properly and also you can remember. Whatever you listen, you remember properly. So that's why this is called is memory point. So in the occupation, we got a memory point. I will teach you now. So start practicing this. Even teach your children, every, every children before starting, before studying, or before attending the classroom so try to practice this uh, one point has to be activated for 20 30 times then go into that go into the classroom or go into any session so you can remember whatever you listen there you can remember as it is okay that's the power of uh, you know the this memory point will, will boost the memory power and concentration right so this is very important friends just uh, observe this point see here these are the two points the number one point here here Whatever we have told you about epilepsy point, right? Similarly, that point only. You go on activate like this. This point. This point 20, 30 times. Go on activate. And do this way. And this point. In between the eyebrows. This point is also, you can just uh, go on anti uh, uh, clockwise. Anti clockwise. You can just go on press here. Otherwise, just go on press like this. Press. Press. Like this. 20, 20 times. Just activate. 
So this will be, these are the this is called memory point. Okay, it's available on our physical body. Please use it. Now glucose in the body. So what is the glucose spreads? So we need to understand the glucose as we explained in the I mean in the other sessions in the other classes. So very widely, but I'll try to explain briefly now. So the glucose will be generated. Basically, you see all the trees they prepare carbohydrates. So how do they prepare carbohydrates? Basically. They prepare with the help of sunlight, water, or the carbon dioxide, right? All the trees. So they produce carbohydrates in the form of pulses, like all the uh, the different uh, format, like the every tree will produce grains, right? The grains, fruits, or otherwise uh, the different vegetables, everything. In the form of uh, all the other byproducts, it will try to give you the carbohydrates. Now what we do, we go and uh, take that food, like a, a plant-based food and uh, vegetarian food, so that will go inside of us, so that will get digest. Once that get digest, it produces the something called one energy that's called glucose. Okay. So of course, see through the plant-based food, we also may receive a lot of vitamins and minerals, all this, right? That also go into our physical body. That will help us in order to supply the proper nutrients to every cell, the physical body, right? So now this glucose, what are the energy after the digestion process, that glucose will be generated, that will be absorbed into the intestines through intestine it go it enters into the blood it enters into the blood from the th through the blood what happened it go and supply to the, all the organs this is called physical energy this is a glucose energy which is very much required for every organ to function friends so always try to remember this okay now this energy especially glucose it has to be under control why it is not under control nowadays because we try to take food without any scientific approach also without having an awareness of it so basically, you see, we eat uh, mostly people who doesn't know about the this uh, lifestyle practices, food practices, what they do, morning, let's say, idli, dosha, whatever, right? There's also carbohydrates. And afternoon, white rice. And around which, you know, the again, uh, through white rice or chapati, it uh, try to give you a lot of so-called carbohydrate, highest amount of carbohydrate. Again, night, rice and along with that chapati, whatever you do, again, carbohydrates. How many times you go on supply the carbohydrates? Any more amount of carbohydrates you are supplying to the physical body, which will be eventually converted into glucose, the glucose levels will jump, okay, always going on. But what is the glucose required in the physical body? In our physical body, 5 to 6 liters is there, blood. In the blood of 5 to 6 liters, for a one human being, you need only 5 to 6 grams of the glucose for a proper functioning of all the physical organs. Then, with this uh, way of uh, the, the unnatural or, you know, uh, uh, without having a proper uh, knowledge, you know, the way we eat the food. So, always white rice, always chapati, all this, you know, and also a lot of people eat uh, sugar-based uh, sweets. That's also very dangerous. It's going to supply, it's going to jump your glucose levels in the, in the, in the blood, in fact. Not only that, some people will go and eat ice creams. Some people will be, you know, going and drinking uh, the soft drinks. Unnecessarily, they go and drink. One soft drink, you know, it's going to give you 45 grams of sugar directly into the blood. I try to remember this. We need only 5 to 6 grams. But you are supplying 100 grams, 150 grams. How do you burn this? You can't burn this excess amount of glucose. You can't burn it because you are not doing physical work. Most of us will work with the mental, see, with the mind actually. Using the mind, you are working. Then if you are not able to burn it, what happened? Liver, pancreas, what it does is, so you try to convert all the excess glucose into the, one is fat cells, second is cholesterol, third is triglycerides, fourth one is glucogen packets. Now what happened with this? See this, what happened? Your fat, amount of fat is increased in the physical body, friends. Now the amount of cholesterol is increased. This causes to the, basically, this go on, you know, this go on store in the, uh, in the inside the walls of the all the blood vessels which are going to the heart then the heart cannot pump proper blood the whenever the heart is pumping the blood pressure increases when blood pressure increases what happens it causes for heart heart issues heart attack lot of things okay not, not not only that type 1 type 2 diabetes all this will come because of excessive presence of the glucose within your blood so that's very important. So be careful about this. So try to take care of it. Go for the alternate foods. So which we have discussed in the holistic lifestyle in the, the first, uh, the first, uh, last, first Saturday and next Saturday we have discussed about what kind of foods we have to make sure we will eat uh, as a main course of food, all that. Please follow that uh, PPT and uh, videos. Definitely will understand what kind of food we have, we have to replace. And we should uh, make sure we are in the part of the our diet, regular diet. 
so that your glucose in the blood will be under control so that you will not get into unnecessary diseases this glucose is the main culprit friends the excessive glucose of course required glucose the whatever <coughs> required glucose is must but beyond that uh, requirement whatever excessive that is going to cause many many troubles and many diseases please understand that now so that's why the conclusion is you have to eat you have to always you know try to eat fiber rich foods millets godi unpolished organic rice instead of instead of white rice and wheat especially and sugar sugar should be avoided immediately isn't it so likewise so we have to take care so that it will the glucose will be under very much control no need to worry now friends so there is a wonderful mudra it will act like an injection for the back pain lower back pain that is basically l1 l2 l3 4 l1 l2 l3 l4 that is a water bar so that's a water bar on the spinal column isn't it and in the just uh, just above the anus and rectum whatever uh, no above the whatever the, the all these uh, water bar points are there l1 l2 l3 l4 so that is where you have lower back so that lower back pain many people suffer nowadays because they sit and do the uh, works right in front of computers in front of computers they sit for a long time so that accumulates some kind of stress in, in the lower back so that stress causes the pain so all of a sudden the pain will start so in order to relieve that pain what happened walking is must along with that so if you want you know you don't need to go for any painkiller no need to take any injection just follow this mudra this mudra is called merudanda mudra merudanda means spinal cord Okay. Spinal column is called Merudanda. So this Merudanda Mudra, how to practice? Just check here. Okay. Now, with your left hand, friends, with your left hand, so this, uh, uh, you know, the index finger, just touch the this thumb middle, touch here. And then thumb has to be placed on the back of this. And then this Mudra. And then the other, the other side, the right hand side, what you do, these two fingers, little finger and middle finger. You know, touch gently with the this one gently with the thumb. Now other two fingers straight. So in one hand, one side, one way, the other hand, other way. This mudra has to be practiced. This is called Meru Danda Mudra. Okay. Practice this for 30 minutes. It will relieve your, you know, it will remove your uh, whatever the lower back pain. And after that, Prana Mudra for 10 minutes. If you do this, it's complete. So your back pain will be controlled, taken care. This is the Meru Danda Mudra. Now you can observe. So acupressure also we have points in order to relieve the back pain. See here the spinal column, spinal column here. So from the top to bottom, there are 24 water bars are there. In fact, 32. So all the water bars are just shown here for your uh, knowledge purpose. There's a spine. The spine is, you know, sp spine you are seeing, you can see here. Now the back pain to relieve, friends, there are two points on the knees. These two points, if you go on press, I can't show you, but these two points are very important. You have to relieve the back pain. Not on, not on the lower back pain, basically, this is this, this in the acupressure. What I've shown is a mudra. Now, in the acupressure, I'm showing you. These two points, please make a note of it. Pressing, same. I told you the pressing, right? So, every point in the acupressure, press 30 times. Okay? Press one point, you just press and keep it 5 seconds, leave it like that. Now, this is a back pain. And you can see lower back, one point is here. Lower back. So, on the top of the, on the top of the, for example, this is a hand, on the top. On the top, exactly here, this point. This is a lumbar region point. Okay. Lumbar region point. Exactly in this mid, in the mid, it is here. So if you go on press here, this is going to take care of your lower back. Okay. Please do this. And also back pain. For a back pain, you see here there are other points on the tip of all the other points, and hip point is here, hip point, and the spinal cord point. Spinal cord point is here. See the sign of spinal cord points. Here, here, these points, all these points, you can go on press, you can go on, you can do like this. Just go on, do like this. This are this fully spinal cord actually. This will take care of uh, this, uh, the spinal cord connectivity is here from here. It starts here. See, so all the spinal cord connectivity, those nerves are terminated here. They have got end points. That is why we try to press here. Basically, acupressure will work based on the activation of termination or activation of end points of each and every nerve. So in the hands, in the feet, in the ears, right? In the ears, in the feet, in the hands. Three places the terminations will happen. So you can press anywhere and you can relieve the relieve from the pains. Now, these are the points. Please take care. Back pain. Now, what is enema, friends? So we have done up to how many now? 
I think we are in uh, 16th, right? Okay. Maybe we'll try to cover up 20 and then we will try to close this session. Then rest we can cover. Another 30 slides will be there, okay? Which will give you more or less so much uh, wisdom about the day-to-day -day life, okay? So in order to practice, yes. So now the enema, friends. Uh, now I'll be teaching enema and then we'll end the today's uh, session, okay? Enema, what is enema, friends? Enema is the best practice in order to cleanse the uh, your bowels and as well uh, your your colon basically colon and bowels and large intestine so you have to clean always this thing what happens is many times every every day we go on eat okay that go on produce some wastage let's say after after the metabolic actions after all this uh, so called digestion the wastage is produced so that wastage especially it, you know it is generated and it will be absorbed by the large intestine once it goes into large intestine, from there the cleansing process will start. Because of our un, you know, like unscientific method of drinking water and also unscientific method of drinking water, eating food, basically non-fiber non rich foods we eat, isn't it? Sticky foods. So we eat sticky foods which doesn't have proper amount of fiber. So your excretion will be definitely impacted badly. And also not drinking proper water, proper amount of the so-called hydration is not there. So without proper without proper amount of water, so in your intake, your intake is less, then your excretion pro excretion process will be badly impacted. So with which what happens, friends? Many times this wastage is not go going properly outside. That is, so first of all, the wastage means what I'm talking about uh, the stools. I'm talking about stools. Okay, I'm not talking about the urine. Okay, that's a different part. Our wastage in the physical body or any toxins produced in the physical body are sending out i mean they are sent out they are sent out by physical body in three formats number one of course four formats number one so this through the urine number two through the stools number three is sweating number four is the breath which is leaving out what are the breath which is going out through that also some uh, some kind of toxins will go out so these are the four methods of uh, removing your toxins and waste from the physical body now today we are discussing about cleansing the all the uh, left over left over portion which is not cleaned which is not uh, passed out of your physical body about the stools right so to clean that this enema is the best pressure friends the very very best pressure please follow this this enema can be done up to seven seven days to 21 days which i explained in the uh, holistic lifestyle process but today i will show you the clear technique how to use it how to practice this so try to use it for seven days even you think that you know i am drinking proper water proper quantity of water and i follow the proper uh, food lifestyle food style uh, food practices even then you go with a every day one time at least seven days then it will clean the entire your large large intestine then you will be happy and uh, inside there is no there won't be any kind of negative bacteria and gas production gas productions all this will not happen so that it will be clean okay so you have an excellent uh, you know the kit available outside in the uh, in the medical shops or otherwise i mean go to amazon you buy a, a this enema kit the enema kit is right readily available so with which instructions also available you follow the instructions and then practice it so that will so you can so that you know you can complete the enema process very easily it's not a big problem and especially nowadays friends many people suffer with the what is that what are the problems basically constipation so why constipation comes indigestion when the indigestion happens, the constipation starts. So because of constipation, what happened? The gastric also will start. The gastric trouble will start. All this will be resolved with the help of enema. Please understand. Now, here, see, observe here. So there is one kit very much uh, shown here for you. So this is enema kit look like. Exactly. The tank, one tank will be there. From the tank, one, one tube will be there. One tube with the control. A, a notch, a, a, something called... Uh, one uh, uh, knob will be there so that's where you can control right so you can stop the water you can uh, stop the water like that from the tank this uh, tube and then some control is there so the at the end of this uh, this uh, so called tube at the end of the tube so that that's what you need to insert into the anus you have to enter, you have to insert into the anus anus how much 3 inch to 4 inch so some 3 cm sorry 3 cm if you insert it and then start the uh, start the water so you can go on fill it. That procedure I will try to explain it now. See here, a simple way to do enema. Remove the cap from the enema nozzle. First thing is, 
So from the edema nozzle, remove the cap. Second, gently insert the tip of the nozzle into the into the anus and continue to insert up to 10 centimeters. That is 3 to 4 inch into the rectum. Into the rectum, you have to insert this up to 3 to 4 inch. That means 10 centimeters. Now, gently squeeze the container until the liquid is empty. Liquid means what? The hot water, body temperature, hot water. That's all. Okay. So, gently squeeze this one container. So, then what will happen? Gently remove the nozzle from the rectum. Okay. Wait for the enema to take the effect. That means you are gone pressing the water. You are inserted and then go on press the water. The tank gets emptied. Then the entire water gone inside to the large intestine through the anus. It entered already. Now you remove the, that uh, particular nozzle to remove slowly, remove out and then wait for, wait for some time. Then the entire stools will melt and then go out, the, go out in the toilet. So try to do this, all this, you know, try to do it near to the toilet. So be just, you know, sit near to before, near to the toilet and do this process. Otherwise, right, inside the toilet, we can do this entire process, right? Okay. Right, friends. What are the benefits of enema? The purpose of cleaning enema is to gently empty the clear and into empty the colon. The enema removes all toxins, waste, and heavy metals from your body, improves your skin, 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 and immunity power will be increased, and blood pressure will be controlled. Energy levels and uh, energy levels will be very much uh, con, uh, uh, you know controlled. Energy levels will be boosted. In fact, and uh, it leads to weight loss. A lot of people who are suffering from weight loss, you know, weight gain, basically heavyweight obesity that can be very much controlled by doing enema on a regular basis okay and constipation fatigue headaches a lot of headaches will come if there is a constipation problem headache will come all that will be removed back aches can be relieved back aches can be relieved with the uh, this cleansing enema there are so many benefits multiple benefits especially constipation that's a immediate benefit friends constipation can be removed i mean it can you can come out of the constipation so that what happened constipation basis headaches will be there no? that also will be relieved immediately fatigue will be removed weight loss can weight loss uh, can be easily achieved when weight loss can be easily achieved that's much helpful for that so all the toxins will be removed because of enema from the physical body from especially the colon area the colon area is the highest pollutant area in our physical body please remember this the colon colon is the bowels no? the bowels will be there no colon that is the area which is having highest impurities. So, if you want to clean that colon area where highest impurities are there, so that is where a lot of bacteria, negative bacteria start developing. So, that is going to cause several problems in the stomach problems. All the stomach related problems come from this only, friends. So, if you follow this enema, time to time you can clean it and keep it neat. So, keep it clean, all your large intestines. Very clean, then no disease will come. No further disease will also not happen, right? Friends, this is the this is about enema. Okay, so friends, we will stop at this point because uh, we we have about um, again. It's about uh, <clears throat> there will be I think uh, 20, 30 more slides are there. Yes, thirty more slides are there, which we will cover in the next class. Okay, so thank you so much, Daniva, to all of you for participating in the session. If you have any questions, another uh, three four minutes, we will end up the session. Any. Little questions are there, we can take up now. Right. Sir, good evening, sir. I'm Ravi Kumar here, sir. Sir, can we, instead of pressing, can we, uh, as you told, right on that uh, uh, right side and left side also we can do, sir? Rotation okay. we can do, sir. Instead of pressing, we can do mutras, sir. Mutras, right side and left side uh, rotation we can do, sir. Sometimes right or some right, right rotation, sometimes left rotation. Can we do, sir? You can apply pressure, no problem. You can apply the pressure left, uh, right, uh, anti-clockwise, -clock you can apply, not a problem. That won't affect anything. Mm. But uh, pressing is easier, actually. In fact, just any mudra. So, okay. a mudra, actually, you are talking about uh, mudra or acupressure points? Uh, acupressure, acupressure, sir. Mm. Mudra, no need to press. Mudra is just gently touching. Correct. Yes, sir. Mm. Acupressure, yes, of course. You can apply clockwise pressure, anti-clockwise pressure. Uh, you can apply little oil also if you wanted to uh, soften that uh, area. In order okay. not to not to not to rub it, rub it, rub it okay. more will uh, create some kind of a reddish uh, color. So so that you can apply little uh, take uh, just pinch of uh, coconut oil and apply on that nightly, nicely, just uh, 
smoothly you rub it then after that go on press okay see here one kidney point is here center the kidney point so if you go on press like this now the kidney point yes is going to help so much all the kidney related problems will be resolved like this and here the in the eyes point any eyes defect eyesight all this you go on press this and your uh, thyroid point i have shown you i have given you yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here, here okay yes, sir. Thyroid. this portion is actually spinal cord problem spinal spinal cord cards like this sir. is wonderful you know wonderful technology yes, sir. pressing is more uh, effective or uh, uh, that uh, rotation is more effective sir mm. everything Left is right. same. pressure that's all see i okay. want to i want to activate and send the energy okay sir. See, some real, especially this disease comes because of the blockage in the nadis. So, nerves especially. So, if I press, you know, that uh, energy flow will happen. Right? If I press, that energy flow will start. In fact, uh, it will plus out all the blockages. Then it will clean. Then the energy flow to the, easily to the that organ. Then it will come out of the disease. The uh, organ sir. will get energy by doing this. So, in the, in the right and the thumb figure, uh, both uh, hand, my uh, pain is there, sir. So, it will be it will be indication of spinal problem, sir. Uh -huh. No, sir, this thumb. is, uh, see, if you have, uh, uh, see, no. here, is, here is the problem. No, Just, thumb here, sir. Here, sir. here and all some pain, uh -huh. here and all pain is there, sir. Right, right. So, that's basically, see, the pain, see, pain here doesn't indicate that uh, head pain. Pain, whatever happens in the head region, that means, uh, so, if you press here, it will solve. Okay. Yeah. Anything, any this this portion is a head, the complete uh, head portion, this one, right? Here you have a pineal gland, pituitary gland also here. If you start activating here, your pineal gland, pituitary gland also will be activated. So powerful. Okay, go on do like this. Right. Okay. Okay, sir. Thanks a lot, sir. Yeah. So Namaste, can you provide us the recording, sir? Yeah, recording will be there in the Mahathar TV. Um, yeah. Have you registered to Mahathar TV YouTube channel? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. You, you will get there. And okay. as well, it will be posted in the WhatsApp, number two. Okay. Number okay. three, PPT will be sent till what we covered today will be sent okay. to you. And uh -huh. if you, uh, next session, I will try to decide uh, which, uh -huh. uh, which day we can do. Before okay. ending up this 21 days, I will try to teach you, all of you, okay. uh, the other 30 slides. Okay, sir. that will take one hour time at least. And this will be continued after this 21 days program? Yeah, yeah. it will be continued uh, from uh, March 1st again. We'll start uh, one more session. It will be every 21 days in a month. So we can again join? Yeah, yeah. Definitely. Okay, yeah. Okay, yes, sir. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Right. Friends, you can share your experience. Otherwise, you can ask doubts. So yes, one more one more question. Last last question. We'll close the session now. Right. Okay, friends. Thank you so much. Dhanwa to all of you.